Video production continues to evolve. New formats, higher resolutions. A typical conversation today is about 4K. And what is 4K? Wikipedia defines 4K as a device or content that has on the order of 4,000 pixels. There they're talking from the left-hand side of the screen to the right-hand side of the screen, 4,000 pixels. It's interesting to note that when we talked about HD, we talked about numbers like 720 and 1080. There we were referring to the number of lines from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. 4K also comes to us in two flavors. Ultra high definition, which is used in broadcast, and digital cinema 4K, which has slightly more pixels from the left-hand side to the right-hand side of the screen. 4K has twice the horizontal and twice the vertical resolution of HD. In HD, if we were talking about 1080 lines of resolution, in 4K, we're now talking over 2,000 lines. In HD, if we were talking 1920 pixels from left to right, we're now talking about 4,000 pixels. So we have twice the horizontal and twice the vertical resolution. We actually have four times the resolution of an HD picture. Now, a little bit of history. Television was introduced to the public in the late 1920s. Color was added in the early 1950s. It wasn't until about 2000 that we introduced high definition TV. At that time, we kind of renamed the television that we had been watching as standard definition television. By standard definition, we said that it was 480 lines of resolution by 720 pixels. It was also a four by three aspect ratio. Standard definition does support a 16 by nine aspect ratio, but we do that by making the pixels wider. We don't add any resolution to the screen. Now, why did we introduce 16 by nine when we went to HD? We did so because the public, the viewing public, when they went to a movie theater, had a better viewing experience. Movie theaters have used for years a wider aspect ratio. So we adopted in HD a 16 by nine aspect ratio so that movies, syndicated programming, and sporting events could benefit from the wider aspect ratio and those creative people that are producing those events can use that wider palette to better present their images. From 2008 to 2012, we went from our infancy with 4K over the air broadcast to full productions. Those include Olympic broadcast, World Cup soccer, and hockey games. In 2017 to 2018, we expect to see the ATSC standard 3.0 be adopted, in which case over the air broadcast will fully support 4K production. If you like this video, please check out our other videos in the definitive guide to 4K series.